Hey guys, thanks for checking out our first video update. Um, we're in our simple living class. We're out in the woods for almost two weeks. Thought we'd give you guys uh, um, just kind of a quick run through of what we've been learning and uh, kind of where we're at um, out here in the woods and stuff. So yeah, on this side of camp, we got our the butchering station. So all of our classes on, uh, on butchering are over here. Uh, we did a pig, deer, turkey, uh, some chickens, uh, kind of a little bit of everything. Just kind of learning how to properly um, uh, butcher different animals and stuff to just kind of get the most out of the meat uh, that's there and stuff. So, yeah, so that's kind of this side of camp here, and then we'll uh, head over uh, across the field here. Um, I think it's day day ten that we've been out here so far. Yeah, we got dropped off. Uh, we had to take a boat to the trailhead. Got dropped off uh, across the lake, and then had a hike uh, a couple miles out to out to camp here um, and we built all our own structures to stay in um, and we've just been learning a lot about what it would look like to do sustainable living in a remote location so not just roughing it in the woods um, you know our eventual hope is to do you know tribal uh, church plant and bible translation so those things are very time consuming so what are things that you can do in a remote location that'll save you time and to make it comfortable you know because you could be there for 15 20 years um, yeah, so just kind of getting a little bit of a hands-on feel for what that might look like. Over here in the corner we got <clears throat> some solar panels, so just getting a little bit of exposure to, to the solar system and um, the functionality of that, um, what we could potentially do with that on the field. Uh, next semester we'll be getting into a lot of the technical details of that, how to, how to set that up, how to maintain it, um, but for this portion of the of this uh, simple living class, we're just learning a lot about um, <clears throat> what you might do with something like that. So just some hands-on. So here's what <clears throat> that system looks like here. Uh, this is a pretty basic system. Um, so just a couple sets of panels. Uh, we got twin tub washer over here. Uh, so this is something that we could potentially have um, in a remote location, all plastic, pretty light, uh, really energy efficient. So things like that that are just going to help save time instead of having to do all of your clothes by hand all the time and wearing them out and just really time consuming. And you can utilize something like that uh, off the off the power that you'd have provided by the sun. Uh, another thing is energy efficient freezer here. Um, so having something like that to be able to maintain certain groceries and um, produce or meats for an extended period of time in the jungle uh, there. Yeah, so that's kind of the, the solar system that we've been uh, getting to play around with a little bit here. Uh, just learning how to charge different things off that, uh, learning, getting some exposure to it. So yeah, uh, and then we'll head over to, to base camp here um, and kind of show you that. So see you in a minute. We're here at uh, center camp, got this massive tent. It's uh, where we've been taking some classes. Uh, just learning a lot, um, kind of just uh, overview classes of engine repair, small engine maintenance, uh, generators, a conversion kit for propane, uh, kind of getting into different things like that, um, motorcycle repair and maintenance, um, plumbing, uh, hydrodynamics for gravity fed versus uh, pump or pressurized uh, watering system. Um, how to, yeah, just those things that are going to allow you to be sustainable in a remote uh, region there. And so, yeah, we've just been learning a ton in here. It's been super interesting. Uh, I got some really gifted teachers are really pretty smart with that kind of stuff. Um, and next semester, again, we'll be diving way in depth into, into a lot of that stuff. Yeah, and so we'll kind of, we'll head over to, to where we've been staying for the last, the last week and a half. All right, so this is, uh, this is our, our base camp. Uh, we're working with uh, one other couple. So our whole class is out here, a group of 35 uh, people, but we're kind of divided into teams. And so we're with uh, one other couple, the centers. Uh, it's been a great opportunity just to work alongside them and uh, get to know them and just practice teamwork. And so we had to build all of our own structures while we're out here. So we got, this is theirs over here. And then uh, ours is right there. And uh, when they're, so we built just kind of uh, out of trees that were cut down. Um, so the structure looks something like that and it's raw form. So just uh, six posts and a A-frame on top. So something pretty simple, just wrapped in plastic, keep the bugs out, the rain out. Um, 
So that kind of might replicate when we show up in the tribe before we uh, build our actual uh, more permanent structure, just a temporary living situation. Um, so something that's, you know, could be designed to last about six months or something. So nothing too, too crazy, but something that, you know, you're gonna be comfortable in. So I can kind of show you a little bit of ours. Uh, Shelby's uh, got a nice and homely decorated there. Um, <clears throat> And then, uh, yeah, just got zipper doors here into the plastic. Might be kind of hard to see in here, it's dark. Um, but yeah, just got a woven uh, woven bed down there. Uh, got screen eaves up there to get some airflow. We've had a 101 index while we've been out here down to the 40s at night. So we've had a decent amount of weather. This is uh, kind of our shower situation there. Uh, all tapered off to run outside and, and for Callum. Uh, we actually hiked in as pack and play just uh, just for the ease of that. So yeah, just uh, excited to keep learning the different things out here and continue training and um, excited to get out of the woods, uh, get an adequate shower. Uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, talk to you guys soon.